to ramen or not to ramen. Everyone loves this quick and easy savory meals from kids to grown-ups. What's up everybody? This is CT from the CT's World Podcast. Let's get straight to it. I fell in love with this style of noodles on a trip to Japan. Thank you to my lovely wife. And I've been in love ever since. Instant or traditional? Give them to me, baby. If you only had the instant kind from a local market, I beg of you, please, find a ramen shop right now and enjoy. And it's okay to smack, baby. And it's okay to slurp. If you don't have a ramen shop or restaurant that sells ramen, go to the international aisle of your local supermarket. And I'm sure you can find some packages of ramen that looks good to you. Or find a local Asian supermarket and ramen away. Spicy miso is my favorite with extra green onions, garlic, the bring sprouts that give it an extra crunch with that soft boiled egg. Yep. Mm-hmm. What's so good about this meal? You can cook instant ramen at home and add what you like. Fried Spam, hot dogs, bean sprouts, green onion, soft boiled egg with a little bit of sriracha, a little bit of pulled pork that you have left over, or even some chicken that you have left over. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, do it. And then you can add your favorite soup base, like beef bouillon or chicken stock. So what's your favorite kind of ramen or noodles in general? Hit me up in the comment section. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, or follow. Let me give you a little history that I didn't know myself. Ramen was imported from China to Japan. The ramen noodle shops first sprang up to popularity in both countries in the early 1900s. And the noodles were actually called Chinese soba. Yakisoba, Chinese soba. Oh, yakisoba is really good. Try it. But it was called Chinese soba until the 1950s. A large number of Chinese went overseas to settle in three major ports, Yokohama, Kobe, and Nagasaki, thus forming Chinatowns and providing a cheap and quick choice for the poor working class. It was Chinese workers selling these meals from food carts who likely first introduced the Japanese to the wheat-based noodles. But ramen's popularity in Japan skyrocketed after the Second Sino-Japanese War, when Japanese troops returned home from China with a new appreciation for the Chinese cuisine. At the time, it is said that the Japanese called it dragon noodle, which means that the dragon, which they was referring to the Chinese, eats noodles. The term ramen was first introduced in the Tasho era, and it said that the ramen noodle earliest appearance was in Yokohoma in 1980. Hey, this is your boy CT. I love ramen. Do you love ramen? Now go somewhere and slurp away. Just find you a pack. Peace.